Hello! In this video, I'm going to teach you how to embed interactive sites, interactive flash games, and other educational simulations into your Blackboard Learn courses. To start off, I have identified this website named Interactive Sites for Education. This is a very good site because it contains a lot of interactive games and simulations of different fields ranges from mathematics to sciences, English language and arts, to music, and a lot more. So let's try one topic or one interactive simulation and in games in mathematics, and let's embed that into the Blackboard Learn course. So I just clicked the mathematics link, and I am now on the subtopics inside mathematics. There are a lot of choices to choose from and just select the subtopics that is related to the one that you are teaching in Blackboard Learn. So let's try probability and inside the subtopics is a list of different games and simulations. So let me choose this one. And after clicking that, it will prompt me if I want to keep this. So it will allow me to download a file, a SWF file, into your computer. So I'll just click keep and it is now downloaded into the computer. Now let's go back to the Blackboard Learn course. And to embed the games we have downloaded, we just go to create item. And then, let's um, name this one as Probability Game. Next one, next step is to click this Embed Media button. And then, browse for the file that we have downloaded earlier. So this is the file, simpleprobability.swf. Just open this one. And let's click this to enable Flash Player. So again, let me choose the SWF file again. And there it is. So the dimension is 320 by 240. I think this is just very small for our screen. So I'll just resize this one to 640 and then click Insert. So I'll just make this at center and then Submit. Now, you can now play the game in the Blackboard Learn course. Start activity and then this is now the game. Now let's embed another game and let me choose from the science and same with mathematics, science topics, same with mathematics, there are a lot of science subtopics available in the site. So let me choose light and then inside the topic of light there are a lot of games to choose from and I'll just select this one. So as you can see it did not prompt me to download the file instead it played on to the other into the other tab. So what I'm gonna do is to just copy the URL of the game. Just copy that one and then go back to the Blackboard course, and then again, create item. So let's name this one as Ref Reflection Game. So we'll just have to use the embed media again. And here, just paste the URL that we have copied, and then let's choose IP iframe for the type of the media. And as you can see that the full content is not displayed inside one frame. That is why we need to adjust the dimension. So let's try 1000. Okay. So the width now is just enough, but there is a lot of space below. So let's remove this constraint proportion and then let's 
reduce the height of the frame. Let's um, try 600. Okay, so that's it. I think this is just fine. And let's click insert and submit. So now we have our interactive games about reflect. You can also do the same process that we did in the website interactive sites for education into this other website that I have identified, which is the primary game. So there are a lot of games available here that you can use in your Blackboard courses. It's like the Lightning Speed Test, Sudoku, Lever Physics, and a lot more. Let's now try embedding web pages and web simulations in other sites and academo.org has a lot of simulations from engineering mathematics and physics that we can use in our blackboard courses so let's choose one of the categories in the website academo let's try physics and then from from the physics topic there are a lot of subtopics to choose from we have am amplitude modulation electric field line simulator and a lot more so let's try this virtual oscilloscope so when you click that one it does not prompt me to download a file or anything so what we're gonna do is to copy the URL of this simulation and then let's go back to the blackboard course and create item let's name this one as virtual oscilloscope again let's use the embed media and then paste the url so make sure that the type is iframe so as you can see it does not show any file or media on the preview. So just put an S on the HTTP. And after putting an S, it now displays the website we have copied earlier. What we're going to do now is just to adjust the dimension of the iframe or the website and then click insert and submit right there so after submitting we have now our virtual oscilloscope simulator on our blackboard course so let's try this simulation let's say we want a square wave with an amplitude of 5 volts and a frequency then the gain and then seconds per division and volts per division yeah right there so it shows the graph of the signal that we have input and lastly i'm gonna show you another website that hosts interactive simulation so this is the fet interactive simulation website and it has simulations from physics, chemistry, math, earth science, and biology. So just choose any of the main topics and then go to the specific simulation that you want to embed. Let's try this one, molarity. Just click that one and it will show you two options here. You can download this or embed the simulation the easiest thing to do is just click the embed and then copy the embed code let's go back to the course blackboard course and then create item or just molarity and then click HTML and then paste the code and then submit and now we have a simulation on molarity from Fed Interactive.